Hey guys, I just wanted to record some commentary for these drills. Um, so initially one person, uh, the person in the blue shirt, pushes in and kind of digs for underneath the armpit of the person in the gray shirt. And the person in the gray shirt kind of wraps up that arm so that they can essentially attach their shoulder to that arm. And then that way they can move the person around with their torso. You see how he's kind of rotating out and then making the person kind of fall over by shouldering down to the mat there and then he's taking a back step with his trailing legs so that he can throw that knee right to the head. So here, the person in blue tells him to take a step back so that the knee kind of loads, the leg loads for the knee. Big step back, throw the knee, perfect. See the hand behind the head there that prevents the person in blue to posture back up. So he's breaking his posture down, maintaining that frame to keep him away. The frame also, the hand right there, like a two-handed frame, prevents him from pushing into the person as well. So it keeps them at that perfect distance, the optimal distance for defense. There you go, underhook right to your rear leg knee here. Now we're going to show a throw from there. So you can do that optimally by grabbing onto the wrist, the far side wrist to do that. Or you can just shoulder down really hard and let that near side leg just kick that leg out and then turn the person to the mat. Notice how there's talk about rotation there. So you're kicking the leg out and then also rotating the upper body. And that's gonna allow you to take the person over. Kick out the leg, big rotation upper body. Now we could turn that into a drill by one person driving forward, the other person overhooking, and then rotating to face the same direction, shoulder down, and then kick the leg straight up towards the ceiling. So here's a good discussion. So you want to think about this range as a secondary, right? So when someone rushes in on you, you want to frame, essentially push their shoulder and their head away and throw that knee. Now when they get past that frame or that frame collapses, right here maintaining the frame, when that frame collapses, that's when you do the overhook and you're hoping to drive their head or redirect their energy away from you so that you can start rotating them to the ground. So here, person's maintaining the knees. And then imagine if that frame or the, or the attacker gets past that frame, you overhook just like the, in the beginning of this video and you can either reframe by pushing the head away or turn all the way around and throw them to the ground. So this movement is also found in Pinan Sandan in Shonryu. So what's happening here, they're turning their shoulder over and then flipping the, the hand forward. So it's the exact same shouldering down motion that you just saw in our drills. Hey, what's up guys? This is Michael from Karate Culture. We're the ones who are trying to bring back practical karate to the world. And we're actually starting our Patreon channel here. So with Patreon, we're giving you tons of solo drills, partner drills, uh, technique breakdowns, and stuff like that. We have tons of content for you already, and we're just here to start being your online virtual dojo. So check us out, patreon.com forward slash karate culture.